Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you are okay. Now just for you, I'm going to be very brave. What I'm about to do is present a topic that some people may define as being controversial. Should church musicians be paid? Now as you know, there are different sides to this. One side being yes, the other side being no, or you may find yourself somewhere in between on the fence. And don't worry, all three sides will be covered. Now let's first deal with the no side. Why shouldn't church musicians be paid? Well, first of all, a paid musician's mindset will be questioned. Do they really see themselves as employees rather than a church member? When you ask a musician, a paid musician, to be more involved in their local church, what would their response be? Would it be something like this? I'm only a musician. Let me take time to clarify. This is my only domain. I don't do anything else but play for the church. You know, I'm comfortable where I am. So when you ask them to attend midweek services like prayer meetings, Bible studies, or any other functions, is this the kind of response you will get? Many people do feel curious about a paid musician's Christian journey. What stage are they at? Is there anything the local church can do to help develop their spiritual growth? And of course, there are many instances, and I've seen this, many instances where a sermon is being preached, you don't see a single musician in the sanctuary. They could be out buying food or whatever. And the only time when you may see a musician at an instrument during a sermon is where certain preachers require a musician to back them up. So when you look at these examples, you have to really pause for a moment and ask, is this true service? And for any paid musician who is listening to me, how do you define true service? And I ask this question simply because as ambassadors of God's kingdom, we must have the right mindset, true service. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 16, it says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So to all paid musicians, Remember the one who gave you the gift in the first place. You need to move away from the mentality, what's in it for me, and focus on giving God the glory and all the praise he deserves. And also, paid musicians, understand the calling and the role of an ambassador for Christ. We are called to imitate the character of Christ. What did Jesus do? He put himself aside and he cared for us by dying on the cross for our sins. So as Christians, we must be humble. It's not always about what you receive, but what you can give. In Mark chapter 10 verse 45, it says, For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. You see, Christ came to serve and not to be served. So if you are a paid musician, beware of the type of message you are sending. And furthermore, we need to be mindful that not every church has their own place of worship. Many churches are still renting halls and other places. So if the majority of their budget is going towards the rent, 
you need to be mindful of the limitations. Okay, let's move on to the yes side. Why should church musicians be paid? Well, many may respond and say, yes, because they deserve credit for the hard work they put in. It takes years for a musician to train and learn their craft. Some go to academies and study the theory side of music. And many others, like myself, have attended lessons to train them up to where they are now. Now let me pause right here and share my personal experiences. Now for me personally, it has always been the dream to be paid for something that I enjoy doing. I love to play the drums. And I have been doing so since the late 90s, early 2000s. So in terms of careers, I would see playing for a church as being a stepping stone towards being involved in the gospel music industry. You know, playing for gospel soloists, groups, choirs, or even in a band, playing gospel music. But for me, my career has been at a slow pace. After working so hard in school and college, I went on to work as a cleaner. Now, being a cleaner is all right for me, but I'll never see it as a long-term ambition. Being a paid musician is. So that's the only reason why I would say yes, church musicians should be paid. When I consider the church that I'm strongly affiliated to, the New Testament Church of God, England and Wales, it has given birth to many musicians and many that I know of have used playing for their local churches as a stepping stone towards greater things. And I'll be very happy to give you one great example. There was a drummer who used to attend the Lee branch of NTCG and his name is Dexter Hercules, one of the main drummers that I looked up to over the years. Now he is a professional drummer. Now it was very interesting for me to find out that eventually he went on to play as a backing musician for the UK version of The Voice. I'm not sure if he still plays for the TV programme. I haven't watched the show for a while. But for me, that is a similar route that I would embark on, but stay in the gospel field. It's more enjoyable than working six cleaning jobs since 2011, when I left college. But at the same time, I'm really thankful for being humble. I don't expect churches to pay me. My mind has always been focused on true service, like what I discussed earlier. Have I been paid as a musician before? Yes. But it was more of a love offering than actually being paid. It was a gift by the church in appreciating my dedication and loyalty over the years. So that's the only time I've been paid. It wasn't really a frequent payment, but a gift of appreciation. And before I close, there's something that I need to say for all churches that pay musicians. Please make sure that you nurture your paid musicians like everyone else. And I say this because there have been many people going to church for many years and they still don't know what the Great Commission is. They don't know anything about spreading the gospel, even though they have been attending for like 5, 10, 15 plus years. They still don't know the Great Commission. So it's the church's responsibility to disciple and spiritually build up everyone who sets foot inside. And so for my final words, going back to the main question, should church musicians be paid? Despite my slow career, 
I'm still leaning towards the no side because I believe in true service. However, there are certain instances where a church musician should be supported financially in terms of transportation. Like if they're traveling from another side of the city, if a church cannot pay a full amount for a musician's transportation, they should at least pay a percentage for petrol or if they don't drive, provide some money for them to purchase bus tickets or fares or even train tickets. And there is also an instance where a musician may be called to play for a church, but the instruments that the church has are inadequate. They may have cracked cymbals, missing notes on the keyboard, or guitars that haven't been tuned for a long while. And yes, there are many cases where a church's budget isn't large enough to upgrade everything. And that's why many musicians like myself would come with their own equipment. And when the time is right and the church can afford new equipment, they can speak to musicians and inquire about what recommended equipment they should use. So that's my take on this topic. You may hear that some of my final words are on the fence, somewhere in between, but really and truly, I am leaning towards the no side because of humility. And I'm glad that whenever a church contacts me, my first words to them aren't, how much are you paying me? You'll never find me knocking on the door of a church treasurer or secretary asking for payments. Like I said, even though my career has been at a very slow pace, I'm all about true service. So I hope you understand where I'm at with this topic. And thank you for listening. Subscribe for more content.